the Wizard Hacker 007. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys a badass Windows 10 theme in Alienware theme. So Alienware has some pretty awesome themes um, when it comes to the third party theming community. Um, they're often hardcore black and red. And they often really change the look of Windows 10. And this theme here is no exception to that rule. If you want to check out how it looks, definitely scroll to the end of this video where I'll do a little rundown of what, what it changes. Um, but otherwise though, go ahead and follow this tutorial and within five minutes or so, we'll have an awesome looking Windows 10 desktop. So what you want to do is head to the link in the description below. That'll be a directory listing to this site right here, which will have the skin pack and then red um, file available to download. Simply click on it and download it. Once you download it, go ahead and open it up. It will prompt you to enter a password. I'll put the password on the screen for you guys. It is skinpacks.com. Once you type in the password, press OK or enter. It'll bring up on the unmonitor um, a WinRAR self-extracting archive. The easiest thing in my opinion to do is just hit browse and do the desktop. Um, that way it's just easy to find. Press extract and it will extract the single file to the desktop. Once it closes automatically, you will have this skin pack Alienware file. We'll go ahead and just simply open it up. You will need admin rights to run this program, so I'll have logged in as an admin or another admin password. Now the skin pack file, uh, our application here will install the theme, the wallpaper, and even the icons. Um, so pretty much the whole complete look. Now before we get started, I want to address a comment in my last video. Uh, someone made the comment that the application that I showed them installed third-party junkware applications. Now, free applications like the one we're about to use sometimes do have that applications or do have those third-party junkware um, advertisement, advertisement things. So my suggestion is always please read uh, what you're pressing next to. Um, also, if you follow my guides down to the step, uh, you will not install any as I do make sure that I don't choose any. So the best thing to do is go step by step and watch what I click and you should completely avoid any issues. With that being said, let's get started. So the first button you want to press is next. Then set the license and terms. And this is going to be our first um, third party junkware application. So what I want to do is press skip. Then press skip again, decline. And when this confirmation pops up, press decline. Then press skip again, skip again, and now we're good to go. So now we can choose what we want. I highly suggest leaving uh, the top four checked off. Uh, you must have these. The, you, you must have this one checked off. Otherwise, it will not work. Uh, icons are completely optional, but I would suggest leave them on for the look. Theme is completely optional, but um, theme is the whole thing. So if you don't have that on, then you're pretty much not installing anything at all. Restore point is optional, but I do suggest having it on as it does create a backup. So if something does go wrong, you have somewhere to backup to, no hassles. Anywhere dock is exactly what it sounds like. It's like a Mac OS X uh, dock on the bottom of your screen. That is completely up to you. Um, I'm gonna have it installed just for the purpose of this video. But like I said, it is completely up to you uh, if you like it or not. So for the complete look, you're gonna leave everything installed. If you wanna customize a little more, you can un uninstall certain things, um, that is completely up to you. So once you've chosen what you want, go ahead and press install. It will start to do everything it needs to do. So the first thing it's gonna do is create a restore point. It will then go ahead and install the icons for us. Your computer may flash screens here and there throughout the installation, do not worry. Once it's finished installing the icons, it will go ahead and install the theme. And here we go, we can see the theme has been activated. Uh, make sure you click over the skin pack to make sure everything's completed. And as you can tell here, uh, it has been completed. So we'll press next and finish. So now our, our theme has been completely um, installed and it is ready to go. So now after a couple of seconds, you should see the dock show up. And this is the Alien World dock that I was talking about earlier. Um, if you don't like it, you can simply uh, right click it and exit out of it and it'll go away. Um, it's not the best dock. I prefer object or um, rocket dock compared compared to object dock. 
um, as it doesn't have simple things like drag and drop support really. Um, so I do find this dock is not as good, um, but I will show you how you configure it if you'd like to configure it. So you can right click it um, anywhere in between icons and you have some options. So you have position on screen uh, and you have the add area, which is probably the most useful area. And this is where you can add shortcuts. So you can type in things like, um, you know, Chrome, for example, and um, then add it in. So for example, let's say we did want to do Google Chrome. We can type in Chrome. Then we have to manually browse for the um, file location. So go browse and then we'll go over to local disk, program files 86, and go Google, and then go to Chrome and application and chrome.exe. Hit OK. And there we go, we can see Chrome is added down here uh, just fine, and we can click it, and it does work. But like I said though, if you don't like Object Dog, you can right click it and hit exit. And there you go, it's completely gone. So now I'm going to show you guys some of the different cool things about this theme itself. So we do have the wallpaper that came pre-installed. I uh, also see we have a cool little mouse clicker. And then the big thing obviously is Explorer. So you can tell here that um, the Explorer menu has been completely modified. Um, my favorite part is the icons. They just go really well. So we can see the hard drive icon over here. Um, hard drive with Windows installation hard drive here. And then we even have like, custom back and menus and um, close, maximize, minimize buttons here. And it also even changes your um, Windows logo to an Alienware logo. And this is in the system properties of your computer. Anyways, guys, that is pretty much it. So the last thing I'm gonna show you guys is if you're interested in uninstalling it. So eventually you might get tired of this theme or we come, or I might release a new video and you wanna try and switching themes. And I'll show you now how to, how to uh, uninstall this theme. So uninstalling this theme is very simple. We're going to head over to the control panel, go to uninstall program, scroll down to the S area, and skin pack alien red is now there. Go ahead and uninstall, and now we can choose exactly what we want to uninstall. So for example, let's say we want to install just the dock, we can choose just the dock. If we want to uninstall everything, we're going to, we're going to choose everything. But me, I'm not a huge fan of the dock, so I'm going to uninstall the dock. There we go. If you chose everything, the whole computer should be reverted back exactly how it looked before. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, thumbs up. Uh, definitely share with your friends or family members if you think they're going to like this cool Alienware video as well. Thanks for watching. I hope you did enjoy, and I'll see you in my next YouTube video. This is the Hacker 0 7 and I'm signing off.